A brand new report is raising some serious questions about Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas and the lavish gifts that he reportedly accepted from a GOP mega donor. ProPublica says that the luxury vacations from billionaire Harlan Crow were never disclosed. And according to these ProPublica, uh, Pro these are photos of Clarence Thomas and his wife, Ginny Thomas, with Crow and others during a trip to Indonesia back in 2019. The report says that the Thomases flew on Crow's private jet to Indonesia for the nine-day luxury vacation, one that they say is valued at more than $500,000. Now, ProPublica goes on to say that the extent and frequency of Crow's apparent gifts to Thomas have no known precedent in the modern history of the United States Supreme Court. And just minutes ago, Senate Majority Whip Dick Durbin had this to say, quote, the ProPublica report is a call to action and the Senate Judiciary Committee will act. CNN Supreme Court reporter Ariane DeVogue is joining us now with more on this very eyebrow-raising story. So, Ariane, how unprecedented is this, really? It's unheard of at the Supreme Court. This ProPublica report really detailing these lavish trips that Justice Clarence Thomas took and were paid for by this mega donor. And trips, like you said, New Zealand, Indonesia, on private jets, uh, private yachts, at private resorts. But what's really important here is to put this into context, because it comes as the Supreme Court right now is under this white-hot spotlight, where more and more people are thinking that the court has becoming more political, less a judicial branch, more like just another uh, political branch. And you see Congress right now, it's moving, it wants more ethics disclosure. He himself, uh, Thomas, is arguably the most conservative member of the court. And of course, his wife, Ginny Thomas, came under fire um, several months ago for texts that she sent to uh, members of Trump's team uh, in an effort to overturn election results. So this is all coming when the, the Supreme Court is in the middle of this swirling controversy, and it, uh, it causes trouble for Clarence Thomas. And of course, what they're saying now is Harlan Crow, this Dallas businessman, he was the one who paid for this. It was never uh, disclosed, and he has given more, according to ProPublica, than $10 million in uh, political contributions over the years. Yeah, I mean, that's really stunning. So, Ariane, what has Harlan Crow said about all of this? Well, he did release a statement uh, that we got a copy of. He said, we have never asked about a pending or lower court case, and Justice Thomas has never discussed one, and we have never sought to influence Justice Thomas on any legal or political issue. Uh, he says he's unaware of any of our friends ever uh, lobbying or seeking to influence Justice Thomas. But the thing is, it really does put a spotlight on ethics at the Supreme Court, because the Judicial Conference just recently amended its own rules, and it would cover things like staying uh, in a private resort, private jets. It said that those things have to be disclosed. So maybe, arguably, Thomas could say, look, before that, they didn't need to be disclosed, so I didn't have to disclose it. But there's also federal law in place, and it says that members of the judiciary uh, should not accept anything of value from a person whose interests may be substantially affected. Again, language that might suggest that this kind of trip, this kind of money, should have been uh, disclosed. Now, Clarence Thomas, uh, or neither Clarence Thomas or the Supreme Court has decided uh, to give any kind of statement right now, but it comes as all eyes are on the Supreme Court. Yeah, absolutely. And as you said, the federal law talks about anything of value. These are a lot of very valuable things. I think most people would agree with that. Ariane DeVogue, thank you very much.